What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today we are doing my WWE Backlash 2023 predictions video. It's not called WrestleMania Backlash this year thankfully and the event is taking place this Saturday May 6th in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys, ever since WrestleMania I haven't really been paying that much attention to what's been going on in the whole wrestling world uh, to be perfectly honest with you outside of the Brit Rest scene. Um, not because of burnout or any particular reason, I've just been super super busy. So a lot of this card I'm actually reading it for the first First time, so I don't really know the build up. I don't know too many of the storylines. I know a little bit here and there, uh, but this is going to be interesting. Anyway, this video is being filmed after the Go Home Raw, but before the Go Home SmackDown. And if there is any more matches that are added on SmackDown, I will be adding them in the description and the comments down below. Without further ado, ladies and gents, let's get right into the first prediction of the video. Let's go. The first match on the Backlash card is the United States Championship match. Austin Theory defending his title against Bronson Reed and Bobby Lashley. Now, this match is going to be very exciting. Bronson Reed and Bobby Lashley have been going at it a little bit recently. I've seen here and there. I don't really know where Theory comes into the mix too much, um, but... Based on what's been going on recently with Austin Theory, especially beating John Cena at WrestleMania, I've got him retaining here. Uh, I think Bobby and Bronson are going to cost each other the match by just not being able to focus on pinning and beating down Theory. Uh, and instead, they're just going to keep going at each other and Theory's going to take advantage and retain his championship. Now, these two matches are confusing me, these next two, because they are for the Raw Women's Championship first and then the SmackDown Women's Championship. But... Both women's champions on each brand have just switched. So are they giving Bianca the SmackDown women's and Rhea Ripley the Raw women's titles like they did before, straight swap? I haven't got a clue. But this match is being advertised as a Raw women's championship match. Bianca Belair taking on EO Sky. The only other option is to have either one or both of these ladies drop the championships. Which, spoiler alert, I don't see happening. Bianca Belair is going to pick up a victory here. And that brings me very, very quickly into the SmackDown Women's Championship match where I just said, spoiler alert, Rhea Ripley is retaining here, but she is taking on the LWO's Queen Zelina, or not anymore, Zelina Vega. Now, the LWO hasn't even had a victory since forming, I don't think, and I don't think that's going to change here. Rhea Ripley has only just won the SmackDown Women's Championship, and whether she becomes Raw Women's Champion or not by trading the belts, either way, she is leaving Backlash as a champion. Six-man tag team action coming up next as the undisputed WWE tag team champions Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn team up with Matt Riddle to take on the bloodline, the Usos and Solo Sokoa. There has been tension building here with the Usos and potentially with Solo, definitely with Roman for a long time now. But do I think Backlash is going to be where the bloodline finally snaps and the Usos go their separate way? I don't know. Uh, without Roman actually being there, I don't see how that's going to happen unless Solo turns on his brothers, which I also don't see happening. But either way, I have got Riddle, Zayn and Owens beating the bloodline. Coming up next, we have a San Juan street fight between the former tag team, the Judgment Day's Damian Priest taking on Bad Bunny. This has been building up since WrestleMania when Bad Bunny interfered in the Dominic versus Rey Mysterio match, helping out Rey. And uh, yeah, Damian Priest has had beef with his former partner since that point. Do I see Bad Bunny winning is the real question. Yes. As much as I would like to see Damian Priest pick up a victory here, because I feel like at the moment he's definitely the most underutilised member of the Judgment Day. I don't see Bad Bunny coming back, doing a match and not going over. And with the street fight stipulation, it doesn't have to be clean. Although he's the baby face, he can put Priest through a flaming table or something crazy. And uh, it protects Damian Priest that a little bit in defeat. So with that being said, I have got Bad Bunny picking up a victory. And finally, the main event of the evening, Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes. The match that was set up on the Raw after Mania when they were going to team up, but then Lesnar turned on Cody. Now, Cody's ride since being back in WWE 
um, towards the championship without injury, of course, because that's legit. But his road towards the championship has been pretty smooth sailing. He beat Seth Rollins three times, won the Royal Rumble and then challenged for the title at WrestleMania. There hadn't been any major roadblocks. Obviously, he lost the title, uh, lost his chance at the titles, I should say, at WrestleMania. And I still think he is the one to finish the story. Although he's been drafted to Raw and will be, you know, challenging for the World Heavyweight title, I would keep him away from that, although that's the main, that show's main title. Keep Cody away. Have him either win money in the bank or get to Roman some other way. But I definitely think at the moment, Cody is still the guy to dethrone the tribal chief. He just needs more adversity and a more of a roadblock on his story. He lost to Roman. I'd run back the Cena story from 2012 and have Brock Lesnar beat him here. I wouldn't do the same thing they did and have him beat Brock Lesnar. No, that's, no, never made sense. Have Cody lose to Lesnar. Have him soul search deep within himself for the next couple months. Win money in the bank. Cash in at SummerSlam. Beat the Tribal Chief. That is personally what I would do. Whether WWE do that or not, I don't know. But either way, I've got Brock Lesnar beating Cody Rhodes to finish off the Backlash pay-per-view. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my predictions for WWE Backlash 2023. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. I will reiterate once again, if there's any matches added after this upload, I will be adding them in the description and the comments alongside my prediction. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. I won't be watching Backlash live this week, but I will try and give you some reactions if stuff happens on the show that's worth reacting to. Obviously, no Tribal Chief, no world titles being defended. But if something cool happens in like, the Usos match or the SmackDown women's match or the Raw women's match or anything happens that is worth reacting to, I will bring up some reaction videos the very next morning. But once again, like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.